this next pop-up really is quite fun and what I've done is printed uh, just for show really the cover onto the card which I'm using here but because we've got to create quite a lot of lift it might be worth printing two different ones and sticking them together i.e. the cover and then the inside because it does help to get a little bit of extra lift that said it does work like this but the thicker the card the better on this one okay so that's my base sorted and I've cut out all the different elements and really the two main ones for here are the coffee mug inner parts and what I've done here is cut them out they're ready for gluing um, but before I do that I'd like to just put a bit of curl on them now if you remember the birthday cake one uh, what I did with that was glue it all together and then create the curl but I'd like to show you a different technique um, and I think that works quite well on on this particular one so again I'm just going to put my pencil down and pull the coffee mug half like this and you can see I get this lovely curl on it. So a couple of those. Now, I said you can do this when it's glued together, but sometimes you might just find it a little bit easier to do it before you glue it, and then we can stick it down. So again, put that underneath, and it's really just a case of getting the tension there. Let me turn around and get that curve. That also helps in a little bit to curve these. Now the tabs are always the problem part and I suggest just rolling them over the pencil like this as well will help. I know we've got to glue this all together but it's just one of those things that if you can just create a little bit more curl on it it'll help with the lifting. Okie dokie so that's done. What we need to do now is very simply put these two together so I'm going to glue these tabs one and two and just line that up and we'll see we could we get a, a nice fit and there's a little line in there that's okay that's part of the design that's it turn it over and at this point again before the whole thing closes up you've got a bit of an opportunity of getting a little bit more crease on that let's just put that onto there and that one onto there and there we go so open it up again feel free just to manipulate that to give it a little bit more rounded but you can see we've got that nice circular shape appearing we are going to get this slightly overall effect and that, that really can't be helped but if you can spend a little bit of time here with your pencil and crease in there you will find that you can can make a little bit of difference to that I'm just forcing it back the other way and boom there we go Right, the next thing to do, these tabs up here just need to be glued, folded in. So if I put a spot of glue onto there and onto the other side here, they fold in like so. Okay, that's the main part of the coffee mug and these parts here are going to glue down on to the base but before we do that let's look at the other two elements that we're going to work with right we have the lift mechanism here I've just creased this along the lines and and scored it so we we'll just fold that and it's simply just going to glue together it doesn't matter really which way you glue it but at this point you are only going to glue that point there the middle point as it were so again a little bit of glue on there keeping the tabs glue free at this stage fold that over and I just then fold these back just to make sure they haven't been glued and they're fine our other element is the frothy coffee here you've got a score line along the top there for you to to fold on uh, yours will be text editable so you can put a greetings message in there if you like and then we've got these two tabs again just fold those they're ready for gluing onto the top and with these three elements now we're just about done last but not least we've got the handle for the mug and that again just needs to simply be creased and folded and you've got 
a little red trim line in there so I'm going to just do mine and show you we cut that so that will now fold together you can glue this and then we'll just pull those tabs back one either side like so and just put a little bit of crease reverse crease because they're going into the coffee mug okay the next task now is to stick the coffee cup down so what we're going to do as i pre-glued this is just line it up with the tab here now make sure this is perpendicular to or nice and square with the tablecloth there because we want this to rise perfectly now we've got our tab here and if i just slot the tab through it's easier then just to glue this i've glued the base there put the tab down line that up with the center line so you know it's in nice and square in fact i've got a bit of glue on the other side i can put that down so we've now got our cup coffee cup in position with our main stay there so the next thing to do now is to come back and put the lid on so again a little bit of glue onto that and that will just now fit into if I can just pull that back you'll see it that's the tab that that one's going on to take a little bit of care with this we want to keep it so it fits onto the line I'll just sort of force that back so that you can see it in there and there we go that's that part now is a good time just to put the coffee mug handle in before we go any further so what i've done is just glued the two halves together and i've put a bit of glue on either tab here i'm just going to slot that through the gap as you can see there that's coming through and then those two tabs will just glue on the end i'm just pulling it and push down and now if i open that up you should just be able to make out the two tabs that sit in there that tab is ultimately now going to stick down into the crease here so we could now just fold and stick that everything's a bit buried away i apologize for that but i can't really show it to you any other way but this is how it's going to go i'm now going to glue that part there and let that part of the lid just stick onto it like so and then that other half will glue on there that part to there and we're just about done so the next thing to do is just to put a little bit of glue onto that support i don't know if you can see here but just bring that to the camera you can see there we go that's the glue into there keep this all nice and flat just bear with me a second and i'll show you there we go you can see now that's just rested over i did that while it was flat so it's all in position um and what we can do now again i'll just i'm forcing this up uh, so you can see i'm going to glue that part there and that part here and then just stick it down as well so it's a little bit fiddly but we get there in the end and again a little bit of glue onto there now this does have to be good strong glue as i've mentioned before i would use a wet glue and give it a chance to dry i'm just um speeding along here yeah just really for ease of use with the camera now i'm going to just pull that one over can you see that now i'm just pulling that one over pushing that one down so that all goes into position and there we go that's the coffee mug Ta -da. when i pull that we can see that it's coming up so the next thing to do is to do these parts here which i've done that really the wrong way around but it doesn't matter let me just put some glue onto there hold that part to there and then simply put this part over and now as we open up we can see our coffee rising to the top and we get this lovely mug i can show you there boom, boom. as we open and close our coffee mug should rise nicely to the top if the sides do get caught a little bit um, on one side 
don't be afraid to come along with your scissors and just trim a little bit off. That will not really spoil the effect at all, but will just help to just catch any bits that might just be catching on the sides and not helping with the lift. If it's a little bit big, that can sometimes happen. It'll just catch the side, but it should rise to the top. So if I open and close my mug, that pretty well comes to the top now. Now, if I show you, if I open and close my mug, the top is rising quite nicely. And there we go, a really fantastic pop-up to make. There's a lot of sort of wow factor on that. We've got a few other little elements we can add to it if we want. We've got a spoon we can put down and a biscuit. You can just glue that and have it either side or pop them on foam pads. And that can just add to the overall effect. And there we go, that's the final pop-up here. It really is good fun. I think you get a lot of wow factor with this card. And uh, it, it's, it really does add a smile to your face when you, when you open up the card. Remember, you've got a choice of tops here. We can have a frothy coffee or a sort of bit more of a, a darker one. It could even look like hot chocolate if you want. And of course, you can embellish the sides as well. But it's all in all, a very simple pop-up, but really quite spectacular. So I hope that you enjoy making this card and uh, have fun with it.